All right, halfway house, Wednesday night, about 11 p.m. Um, spent most of the day working on that 58 Buick wagon. Uh, I think we're ready to fire it up tomorrow. Um, had some momentum going, so I came home. Um, swapped, because uh, that Pontiac motor was on this engine stand, so I swapped that since that uh, 3D9 is going on that GMC here pretty soon, so it's like, fuck it. Um, go ahead and swap that ship. Got it torn down. Didn't have my puller because I had to pull the balancer off that 58 Buick, so um, had to stop here. But uh, pretty crusty here. Um, this is eating all the fuck. I don't see any holes or any cracks, but fuck that. I'm getting a new one. Um, fuel pump looks brand fucking new. I think the guy told me he put a brand new fuel pump on it. Um, the distributor looks brand new, and I know he told me he put a brand new distributor on it. Um, I don't know if you can see. 40 over. Um pretty fucking clean. I cleaned that one with brake clean, but I mean, I mean, just a little oily, like no crusties. Um, so that's cool. Um, no ridges. They're super clean. Um, the cam looks all right. Uh, bottom side looks fucking tits. Um, I'm probably going to hone it and re-ring it. Probably not even fuck with the bearings. Um, like I said, when I bought that 71 scamp, because that's where this motor came from, um, I pulled the valve cover and it was so fucking clean underneath. Well, you can see the heads. Looks like it's been sitting a while, but uh, it was super fucking clean. I was like, man, this motherfucker looks brand new. Why does it look so shitty on the outside? Because um, it's been obviously been painted a million fucking colors. Um, but then I, once I got home, well, I pulled the motor out and then I pulled the intake off. And well, this is you know just junk from sitting because I knew it was gonna take it apart. I had it covered, but obviously not very good. But uh. This is what it looked like, super fucking clean. No sludge, no fucking nothing. So, good. I, I feel better now that I think it's a you know a good motor. Um, yeah, but 40 over. Um, I'm sure that's all you can get out of these, I would think. But, uh, I mean, I'm not worried about it. It looks fucking fresh, so I don't, you know, I'm not going to wear this motor out. Hopefully I sell it before then, but uh whole pan's a little nasty, but whatever. Um... But here's that three speed I got out of the scamp as well. I was gonna run that, but then I got this turd. Um, 67, 833, um, four speed out of a 67 Dart GT. I don't know if you can see, but this fucking output shaft is bent right around here. Not twisted, it's bent. Um, so it needs an output shaft, you know, that's 250 bucks or whatever, and go ahead and get the rebuild kit. Go through that thing. Um, I do have a brand new clutch in there, and uh, actually, I don't think I've done the flywheel yet. But uh, so I got all that going for the, the dart here pretty soon. Um, as soon as I get the motor back together and painted and everything, I'm probably gonna go ahead and put the motor um, in the dart, and then I'll you know stab this from the bottom. I do need some little odds and ends for the dart as well, but um, and I haven't pulled the cover to see what the rear end ratio is. Um, I am going to put a whiplash cam in this thing, and uh, it is going to be a manual, but, you know, if it's got, like, 269 gears or whatever the fuck those were, I mean, that ain't going to cut it, so um, probably try to find another rear end, um, hopefully an 8 and a quarter. If not, I'll just go ahead and regear that one. I mean, it's it's a fucking 318, it's not, and it's light. It's not like I'm going to be putting cheater sticks on it, making 400 horsepower, and doing, you know, boosted launches or something. So I just want a fun little street car. Um, I had a 3.18 with a three-speed uh, that Dart or that uh, 74 Duster I had, and it was fucking tits. Um, so I'm not really worried about it. Here's 64 GTO 303 horsepower engine for the. I don't know if you can see it, the GMC. Um, yeah, so this thing's pretty much ready to go in. Kind of did some rough measuring. I think it's actually going to fit about where the fuck I need it to. So that's cool. Um, pretty clean motor. I mean, he didn't want to paint it or do nothing, and it doesn't look like it leaks. And it was in a running car, so um, he wants to throw it in as is. I'm trying to talk him out of pulling that fucking two barrel off. I've got a four barrel for it, and you know, I donate one of my Edelbrocks, or I got a Holly too. Uh, you know, whatever, and donate it to the cause because I mean, it's a 303 horsepower 64 GTO motor. I mean, that thing needs a fucking uh, four barrel, but uh. This is where, oh, there it is. That's the trans for it. Um, for the Pontiac. For the GMC, I guess. Um, 
got this thing pretty much ready to pull. It's been raining almost two weeks straight. Um, but uh, yeah, I got all the wiring, all the linkage and bullshit. I still need to get the clutch linkage. Um, and I'll pull the trans and I'll pull the engine and bell housing together. Um, and then probably put the 389 and try to get it sitting where I want it to sit and then see how the trans fits and go from there. Um, I really don't anticipate it being too difficult. There's so much room, you know, with uh, no AC and shit. Um, and these motors are just so tiny with so much room. So um, I think we have plenty of wiggle room. Um, I did a rough measurement of the width of the mouth mount and it looks pretty similar. So... Uh, I'm kind of more worried about the width of like, you know, back there, but I'm hoping since it, if, if it moves the engine forward, like I think it's going to, I think we'll be all right. Um, I never found anybody that's done one of these. So obviously I never have, but I'm excited. He's excited. Um, I guess, I don't know if you saw, but this is a three on the tree. So, um, and he doesn't want any of this shit. So if y'all want anything, I sure as fuck don't need a small box. So. <clears throat> uh, anyway, you know, manual steering, or manual steering, manual brakes, no AC, um, pretty fucking cool, three on the tree, but with a 350 with a four barrel, so, way cool, um, I think this thing's been sitting since the 90s, yeah, mid 90s, <sighs> good old Dart, 59 Buick Wagon, Anyway, that's what I got going on tonight. I made a big enough mess over here. Um, yeah, I put. I think I put in enough hours today. So, um, yeah, get this thing torn down the rest of the way tomorrow. I hope, um, and I don't anticipate it drying up enough to be able to crawl underneath there and pull that trans and shit out. So that'll probably have to wait till the weekend. But I guess that ain't no big deal. Um, I do need to pull the trans out of the dart. Um, probably do that at some point. Um, if anybody needs a slant six, I'm sure it's a 904. Um, I don't know if they made a 727 with the slant six, but maybe. Anyway, that's about it. I actually had it pretty much cleaned up, so I had to do some, you know, some engine stand and and uh, shit swapping around. And of course, I had all the shit in the way, so. But yeah, halfway house, Wednesday night. I will see y'all later. Ooh, mama.